L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear. Just kidding. And uh, because you don't want the. guys welcome back to my channel my name is Raya and I'd love to have you on my YouTube channel so please click the subscribe button if you're interested in watching makeup tutorials and the occasional reviews and get ready with me today I'm wearing a fancy shirt don't let this shirt fool you because I have my pajamas underneath I'm just being real here you know Today I'm wearing a fancy shirt because I want to do a makeup look that is perfect for graduation. May it be that you are the one graduating or you're the proud parent or you're a teacher or professor who will attend the graduation ceremony. So if you are interested then just keep on watching. So because this is just a simple makeup look yet really elegant really sophisticated looking i'm gonna start with my foundation first i have already put on moisturizer on my face and i just put up a review about this foundation it's the l'oreal infallible fresh wear foundation which is marketed to have a 24 hour fresh wear finish so guaranteed you will have this makeup base for a long period of time and that's what you need in a foundation for it to last a long long time because graduation ceremonies are usually very very long sometimes it takes up to five hours and that's crazy right so you would need your makeup to last for quite some time what I also like with this foundation is that it's really breathable. It doesn't leave a tight feeling on your face and it's very very lightweight. So even if you wear this for a long time, you won't feel very uncomfortable. And I don't know, it just feels like bare skin. I am really really loving it and I think that's because they have this new oxygen technology incorporated in this foundation. I sound like I'm sponsored by L'Oreal but really I'm not. I'm not that big of a YouTuber to have sponsorships so I'm really, really speaking my own opinion about this product and so far I really really like it. So that's one layer on my face. I don't want to add any more product because I want my base to be really light. Just enough to cover some imperfections and to even out the skin tone. Next is I'm gonna conceal. I'm just concealing my under eye area. You still want to look fresh for your graduation because it's your special moment. and. You don't want them to take note that you lost a lot of sleep along the way. So make sure to conceal your under eye circles. A concealer with a peachy tone to it helps conceal the dark spots even better. Especially if you have morena or medium skin tones because orange cancels out dark circles. In case you don't know... So I'm just blending it out with the same sponge that I used to blend the foundation earlier. And it also gives a little amount of brightness to the center of my face. I don't want my face to be highlighted, super highlighted on the center part. I don't know, it's just not my style. But if you prefer that, make sure to put on another layer of concealer that is two shades brighter. And then I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder. This one is in the shade Tan Beige. Just so I can set that liquid foundation and concealer in place. Especially since our graduation season here in the Philippines is also summer season. So you don't want your makeup base to slip and slide. 
you want it to stay in place for the rest of the day up next brows and i don't know i want my makeup to look really put together and really seamless so today i'm gonna try to perfect my brow game and hmm, i'm not really good at doing eyebrows and remember brows are sisters not twins so it's okay if they're not really really similar or identical the important part is that you make it look like they're related to each other i'll take a cream pencil like this and i'm just gonna sharpen up the edges of my brows i don't do this usually because i'm lazy but for the graduation makeup look that i have in mind i want every little detail to be perfect if not perfect then nearly perfect because nothing is perfect but that's how you practice so that you can achieve something that is close to perfection brows are on so now we proceed to eye makeup and i'll be doing a simple bronzy look today just so it's not too complicated for you out there who are probably wanting to do your own makeup to save some money so i'm taking this transition shade called cookie dough i'm just using cookie dough as a transition shade i don't know why every time i start to film random people just shout or there are random motorcycles passing by or the construction is always you know tinkering but whenever i shut up they they just keep quiet and now there's fireworks i'm mostly doing brown tones for my eye makeup just because i find that brown tones are such a classic and you can't ever go wrong with it you can have any color or any type of clothing and brown eye makeup will always always suit that but this time i'm pulling in warm tones just because i think it complements filipina skin tones more so i'm taking chocolate orange right here and just put it first on my outer v here and pushing it inwards with a light stroke and i'm blending it using circular motion if you're a college student and you're graduating this semester congratulations you're finally done and you're finally ready to take on the world and start a new chapter in your life with the same brush i'm taking brownies here this is a deep deep brown shade and i'm just concentrating that one on my outer v while wow, that's pigmented just to deepen the look out and slowly but ever so surely blend towards the crease with whatever's left on that blending brush that we use to apply the warm brown and dark brown shade i'm just gonna put it on my lower lash line and i realized from watching my old videos that i make the ugliest faces whenever i put eyeshadow on my lower lash line so i'm making an effort here to stay pretty even though it sucks if you want an all matte look you can stop here but i want to take it to another level so i'm just using the shade dreams right here this is a nice coppery brown shade and i'm just gonna take my fingers because the formula of the shimmer shades of this palette is very very metallic whenever i use my fingers that's it for the eyes now i'm just gonna contour my nose using a blending brush the same brush that i used with the cookie dough shade and i'm actually contouring with the shade cookie dough and as you can see the shadows seem very very natural and it instantly 
made my nose bridge pop and appear even though I don't have a very prominent nose bridge but this is the wonder of makeup guys I'm gonna use cookie dough to contour a little bit and bronze at the same time important to curl the lashes because you want them to really flare out and to properly accentuate the eye makeup look there might be a little bit of emotional moments randomly during ceremony and you might cry so make sure to use waterproof makeup just so you can cry but don't lose all the hard work that you put into creating a nice makeup look there by all means you can stop right here but if you're a little bit of an extra girl then you can add false lashes make sure to use natural ones though i'm gonna add some false lashes in a while but i'm not gonna do the full length instead i just took one lash and cut it in two and i'll just put it on the outer parts of my eyes i'm actually gonna take a peachy blush and this is peach glow very appropriate name from caroline and this is just gonna match the warm tones that we have on the eye bringing out that orange tones a little bit more it's actually a pretty nice look for the summer too if you have summer events. This is from Vice Cosmetics. It's their Aura Glow in the shade Shining. Perfect. Look at that. that that's very, very glowy. Let's go back to the eyes now, shall we? I don't usually do this often in my makeup looks because frankly, I don't like to put eyeliner. But now I'm using Caroline's Graph Ink Liner just to have a nice black line that's super super thin on the lash line. Dun, 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 dun. Wow, that has a little bit of drama and it still looks natural, don't you think? Alright, so the last step that you need to do is lipstick. This is your personal preference. You might want to use a bullet lipstick, a liquid lipstick. Anyways, I think we're done. Wait, let's do the hair. I'm actually going to do the hair. I only have a straightener. So I curl using my <laughs> straightener. I wrap it like this and go down and voila, that's a curl. I'm going to do it off cam because I don't want to burn myself. We're actually done and that's it. I just straightened my bangs and curled my hair and that's my graduation makeup look you guys if you want to recreate this look then don't forget to tag me on my social media accounts all of which are listed down below in the description box and if you're graduating this march april may then congratulations you are officially out of school and i hope that you will find your new chapter in life very fruitful and i don't know satisfying perhaps <laughs> i know you will miss studying so make the most out of it and to those of us who are still graduating i meant grad waiting and don't lose hope everything will just fall in place in due time so don't compare yourself to others and everyone is in their own pace you are doing your own journey and life is not a race so if you're still not graduating then that's okay work towards the achievement of your dreams thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you soon on my next video bye